Hello learners, welcome to the video. In the previous chapter, we have learned about maps. The term map generally refers to a true pictorial representation of the earth on the flat surface with features of an area or a portion of it according to scale. Now, what are the types of maps? Maps are not only of different types, but can even be grouped in different ways. Based on the type of information represented, there are two main categories of maps. These two categories of maps are the general purpose maps and the thematic maps. General purpose maps are those maps which are of general use. It gives information on a variety of subjects. A single map may show the distribution of crops, temperature, rainfall and even people living in the area. They are often made according to certain rules of map making. General purpose maps are also known as reference maps. It provides many types of information on one map. Thematic maps are those maps which have some particular themes like natural features of land, political divisions, climate, transport routes, distribution of agricultural crops and many more specialized subjects. The two most important thematic maps are physical maps and political maps. Physical maps are those maps which show natural features of the earth. The physical features on land are mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, lakes, etc. Some features of the ocean floor are bridges, abyssal plains and many more. When such maps show heights, depths or undulating features of land, they are called relief maps. Political maps are those maps which show political divisions, that is, different countries into which the world is divided politically. Each country is separated from the other by external boundaries. Each country is subdivided into provinces or states and the maps showing such divisions are called political maps. The reference maps most widely used are the political maps. These maps are mounted on the walls of the classroom throughout the world. Finally, we can say that a dot on the political map represents presence of a feature or phenomenon on a map. Thus, there are various types of maps, but some of the maps based on the type of information represented are discussed in this video. Now it is the time to explore. Can you think of what mistake can students do while enumerating the types of a map? In this video, we have learned about the types of a map. In the next video, we will learn about the components of a map. I'll take your leave. Till then, bye. Stay happy.